Hey everybody, Mary and the Barbarian here. We're gonna keep it a little lower. Um, kids are watching a movie. Don't want to give them a reason to like stop watching the movie and come and bother me. Don't mean it bad like bother me, but like they're not supposed to be on video. That's kind of like the deal we have. No social media posting pictures of the kids and stuff like that, especially on a public account. And uh, that, that's where we are. So as you can see, you know what we're using today? We are going to use the Valet Auto Strop. So, the one we're not using came in this, okay? It's, it's the one that was the most new old stock. And if you open it up, you know, it's got blades, it's got the little uh, pamphlet, instructions for shaving with the Auto Strop. Here's what I'm going to show you that's really cool. So it shows you, if y'all can see, how to load the blade. If you want to pause it and read it and look at it, you can. They're proprietary blades, just so you know. You're like, if they're proprietary, you're about to use that old ass blade? No, no we're not. Do you see this? That's a little strop they put through there, how to strop. There you go. So, I lost a little metal clip. I need to probably like hole punch, hole punch, and like put some rivets in and make my own. But this would go, so you release the auto strop like this. This is the one that came with this leather one. It's not the one we're using. You release it, and now you can flip it back and forth. When you load it with the blade, which these little, that one's sticking. There we go. They come off to the side, you load the blade on, and then you pull them back. All right? Works. So with the auto strop, you take and you put, and when you hold it the way it should be, as you do it and go back and forth, yeah, it's not working well. Pretty sure that's, oh, that's why. I went the wrong hole. <gasps> so I did just happen to find this, but you run it in between. No, I can't get it to do it. It's really brittle. I need to, uh, I don't even see how stiff it is. So I don't want to really mess with it. But the point is you stick it through here and as you go back and forth, it slides across. Now, this is the one that it came with, and I'm going to show you the difference. So, you see this peg, and then this little line thing over here? This is the one you don't want if you're going to use the blades I have. Um, you can change some things, you can use old blades, you can, there's different other ways to use it. But I prefer to find one that's not like this. This is the one made in Boston by the uh, Gillette Safety Razor Company. And this is an open comb, if y'all can tell. The one we're going to be using is the one made in Canada. All right, it says Gillette Safety Razor Company of Canada Limited, Auto Strop Division, Montreal, Canada. Let's see if y'all can read that at all. But yeah, this is the one we're using. And if you notice, do you see those? There we go. Make sure it's locked in. The one with the blade. Do you see the little slant and then the line? Let's hold it in place. And the other one. Do you see the little peg in the thing? So you cannot use the feather one blade blades on the one with the peg. But the two notches you can, it fits in there fine. I'll show you, they kind of will release it. But do you see how they fit in there? There's a lot of glue on this one. Do you see how they fit? They just fit perfectly in there, line up perfectly. But that little peg on the other one just makes it where it won't line up. So if you don't want to have to like finagle with some other blades to make them work, this is the way to do it, in my opinion, is make sure you get one that could take the feather blades. Got a little rattle. Make sure everything's tightened up. I'll clean it up a little. 
you can see the uh, um, green patina, but I don't want to like polish it, polish it, because I don't want to take the uh, um, whatever coating off, the uh, gold plating off of the brass. All right, guys, I'm going to have to grab a brush because somehow I forgot that. So we were going to go simple and cheap, but we're not. Because, like, we're going to use some palm olive shave stick, classic. Open it up. Still got it in the box. Nice. So we're going to wet the face. I like to take it, and I'll just dip a little bit of it in the water just to get the stick on. Go against the grain. Should I title this, like, how to use a shave stick. Just make sure you go against the grain. Add a little bit more water to the stick. Worry more about the cheeks because I don't lather as much on the neck. But we'll get some good exfoliation in. Probably need that. There we go. Nice. All right. So we're going to use the good old classic turn and shave. Love this one. Bought this used on eBay with like a razor rock aluminum mild blue razor. I can't remember what it was. But I think I got both for like 70 bucks combined. It was like, you could kind of say it's a lot. Not a lot, like many, but you know, multiple items to purchase. It was razor brush combo. This was the price on eBay, and I was like, you know, the brush itself's kind of worth it. I had too much water in that night. But all right, we're building it into a lather. It's working. Kind of excited to use this because I haven't used this combo in a very long time. Like, if you go back. I think there is a video of me like trying to make it work and the little brass piece broke. It was holding the uh, strap. And these feather blades aren't like the best blades. They just don't last as long as like gem blades, which is crazy. It's like they're kind of the same thickness. They're kind of the same style in a way. Like, why don't they last as long as gym blade? And like, I don't know. Maybe it's because they're so sharp, you know? Like, that doesn't seem to be the case. I don't even know why I'd say that, because that doesn't seem true to me either. Because if I remember correctly, these aren't the most efficient razors either, or blades. And I haven't used it in a while. We're going to see how it goes. All right, so pop it open. Like I said, you pull the bars out and you just slide it in over the pegs and put the bars back in, plop it back, click, we're good to go. Kind of ride the cap with this. I know it's straight razor August, but I found this and I wanted to use it. And then Kathleen or Rising Emu on Instagram. You know what? We'll we'll link her on Instagram below. Y'all should give her a follow. She had just picked one of these up and I was like, man, I just found mine. I'm using it tonight. Like I found it a week ago or so, but you get the point. I Straight Razor August, so I wasn't supposed to use it. Like, I found it as soon as August pretty much hit. But it's doing its thing. Shaving like it should. And these feather blades aren't bad. And I'm sorry, guys, I did cheat. But being able to do a video with the kids here, it's kind of amazing. And I don't want to miss time with them, but it's literally their bedtime. So, 
they got a TV in their room. My daughter was gifted a karaoke machine. She can't read for karaoke, but I set up the TV for that. But I put a fire stick on it. And I finally got... I just decided today to... Put the Disney Plus on it. Like, set it all up. And I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna let y'all, like, do it in the bedroom. And y'all can enjoy. You know, like, kids. And this was their first time ever getting to watch, like, TV in their room. I know I'm probably a responsible father letting kids, you know, have a TV in their room at five and three. But, and my daughter knows how to work the remote. But it, I'm, all they can get is Disney Plus with parental controls on it. And they can get um, Boomerang. Like, that's the only thing they've got access to without entering codes. So, that's what matters. Not that they're going to try to get into anything. I just don't want them to actually stumble into something. And, <laughs> stuff scares them. Like, they ended up just watching uh, Hercules, Disney. That's pretty scary. What was the other one they watched? Tarzan. Awesome, man. Hopefully they enjoy the music. Get them into some Phil Collins. I'm trying to get it close. And this is different from your shovel heads and your other gym razors. More against the grain for me through here, especially if I take it at a slight angle. And that's what we're trying to do. Is get that neck close. Without having to take too many strokes. There is blade feel on this puppy like a son of a bitch. Like, so that's the thing. I like straight razors and stuff. And obviously there's no more blade feel. than an open bladed razor, right? Like it should just be blade feel. Paw ball looks awesome. Um, but blade feel is a lot more menacing on a safety razor than on a straight razor. I don't know. I don't know why it feels that way. Just does. I'm gonna go check on the kids. Like I let them watch Incredibles before bed. Do you think that was a good idea? Doesn't matter what they watch, really. But Incredibles. Sounds pretty cool. You can just sit there. Take it. Run it under the water. Get it super clean. Swish, swish, swish. Flip it back. I'm gonna set it off to the side. Probably dry it up a little later. But y'all know the drill. We're gonna rinse up. We'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back. That was a pretty nice shave. Closer, you know, it is true what they say that like once you rinse up and dry your face and stuff and give it a minute, it does feel closer than it did right after I got done taking that last stroke. Just a little. Because the whole time I'm like, ah, is that as close as, eh. But now it does. It does feel close. So we're going to follow up with some Brute Classic Splash On. You see the Splash On? I believe the difference between the aftershave and the Splash On is the Splash On is uh, not mentholated. And 
I don't know if the splash one's even aftershave, technically, because it does just say splash on, so like splash on fragrance. I don't know. But it's a uh, alcohol denot water fragrance BHD propylene glycol. So yeah. That is a burn, man. That feels great. But it shouldn't last too long. That's why we're putting it on. We'll let the shave stick dry. Palm Olive Classic, guys. Keep it in the box. Always keep it around. And the Valet Auto Straw. Not the one I used. Y'all just saw. Oh, we got it over here drying. Valet Auto Straw. With the feather blades guys i will look up all the products i can find if you you know what i'll even put in the search for ebay valet auto straps you don't just click on it make it easy i do it so it makes it easy on you guys like whether it's an affiliate or not i just i want to go through and make it available so if you want to see it you can see it easily even if it takes you away from my video or whatever i just want you to be able to find it and look at it if you want so all right guys Got a lot going on Sunday night, so there there will still be a video Monday morning whether it's shave or not. But I do appreciate it if you made it this far. Please consider giving me a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, please consider subscribing. And I hope you all have a wonderful Sunday.